Welcome to Booze on the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a lawn dart. Now, you can find this cocktail in here, the PDT cocktail book by Jim Meehan, and you can find it at the bottom of page 162. Now, this was created by Sean Hort, and he created this in 2010, and it gives off the flavors of summertime and spring and reminds him of when he was younger and a child. Now, the lawn dart itself kind of also harkened back to when I was a kid, when you used to play with these big seven inch steel darts with plastic fins, and you'd throw them up into the air and people would get hurt, mostly because kids are stupid and you're gonna throw them up and try and catch them or hit your friend with them. Having said that, that is why the game was banned. But it's not why this cocktail was banned, because the cocktail hasn't been banned. Now it's a shaken cocktail, so grab your shaking cocktail. Put it off to the side and you're going to start with your first ingredient. Now we need some green pepper. So what we will do is using our thumbs, we will push the core down, then cut the sides open and cut out a five inch strip of green pepper and put that into the glass. After that, you need some lime juice. So grab yourself a lime, give it a bit of a roll. Then what we'll do is cut this in half, measure it three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils and drop that into the glass. The third ingredient that we're going to use is our sweetener. Now, you could do this with simple syrup if you don't have any agave syrup. However, uh, the recipe recommends agave syrup, and for that, we're going to need a total of three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. We're now going to interrupt our steps of actually putting things into the glass because we're going to muddle our green pepper. And you just wanna muddle it solidly three or four times. Now, one of the things that will happen is it will be even more pulverized as soon as you add and shake a little bit of ice with it. But our next ingredient is green chartreuse. We don't need a lot, and this will give us that herbal note that'll make us think of summer fields and flowers. And we're going to use a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half mils. Your next ingredient is gin. And we're using a London style dry gin. I'm using Heyman's, it's 41.2%. Uh, use whatever dry style gin you prefer. Just remember that the alcohol value will be anywhere between 40 to 45%. But you're going to use one ounce, which works out to 30 milliliters. The next ingredient that we're going to use is tequila. And for this, we are going to use a Blanco tequila, AKA a silver tequila. I'm using Cazadores, it's 40% ABV. We're going to use the same amount of one ounce, which works out to 30 milliliters. Next, what we're going to do is fill this with ice. And you wanna fill the glass up all of the way and you really want to shake this hard. We want to make sure that we shake it as if we're throwing a lion dart and we're trying to get little Timmy next door who is our best friend because you know we're playing that game, right? So, shake it like you want to make it illegal. Give it a flip and smile. All right, pop that off with the strength of a thousand green peppers. Put it off to the side and grab yourself your glass of choice. In this case, I'm going to serve it in a nice tall style glass and we're going to fill this with fresh ice. And you just want to take it all the way up to the top, like so. And what we will also do is fine strain this to keep out any chunks of green pepper or lime pulp. Look at that color. Absolutely gorgeous. Garnish this with a lime wheel and then grab yourself a steel straw, throw it into the drink like you're throwing a dart into the lawn and give it a try. Mmm, really good, it actually, it does taste grassy. You get a little bit of that pepper and the lime juice working together. It's slightly sweet and it's herbal. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look right here.